Well, we've reached a milestone in our Daily in the Word program. Today we finish the book of Genesis, all 50 chapters. And in this 50th chapter of this book, we see the passing of two patriarchs of the Bible, Jacob, who's also known as Israel, and Joseph, whom we have been tracking with his story these many days through our Daily in the Word program. And as chapter 50 records the passing of these patriarchs, we, we encounter this interesting story of Joseph's brothers, maybe some anxiety that begins to creep into their lives and Joseph's response. Let me read to you from Genesis chapter 50, starting in verse 14, a little bit of insight into this story. It says, after burying Jacob, Joseph returned to Egypt with his brothers and all who had accompanied him to his father's burial. But now that their father was dead, Joseph's brothers became fearful. Now Joseph will show his anger and pay us back for all the wrong we did to him, they said. So they sent this message to Joseph. Before your father died, he instructed us to say to you, please forgive your brothers for the great wrong they did to you, for their sin in treating you so cruelly. So we, the servants of the God of your father, beg you to forgive our sin. When Joseph received the message, he broke down and wept. And the brothers came and threw themselves down before Joseph. Look, we are your slaves, they said. But Joseph replied, pay attention to this. Don't be afraid of me. Am I God that I could punish you? You intended to harm me, but God intended it all for good. He brought me to this position so I could save the lives of many people. No, don't be afraid. I will continue to take care of you and your children. So he assured them, reassured them, by speaking kindly to them. There are so many lessons into this little insight into the lives of Joseph's brothers and Joseph himself. But let me just consider one of these lessons with you this morning. I am amazed at the maturity that Joseph expresses and gives example of in this chapter. He says something that I find so encouraging, so interesting, so insightful. He says, am I God? Let, let God do what only God can do. Let him judge. And you know, for my life, Joseph says, the ups and the downs, the steps in my life and the stops, God was a part of it all. He said, you may have intended harm for me, but God used it for the good of people and for his glory. And this is what he says, I'm good with that. See, listen, this morning, that's where you want to be. You want to be good with where God has you. And that doesn't come from a change in circumstance, a change in your job, changing your spouse, changing your situation. It comes with a change of perspective, seeing that God truly is working in your life through every mountaintop and every valley for every high point and low point, through the good and the bad, for richer or for poor, he is the faithful one. So today, I wanna to encourage you. See your day in light of this lens that everything that's happening in your days is truly father filtered. That's what Joseph saw. His brothers, they could only see this far in front of them. Joseph saw the big picture. God's in control, and I wanna encourage you today. God knows the number of your days. He's leading, he's guiding, he's directing. So breathe, trust him, and walk with him today in joy. Because truly, just as Joseph mentioned here, God's in control, I can trust him. Maybe that which those meant for evil, God is using for good. So for me, I'm good.